floods hit about two weeks ago and there was a mad rush to sandbag and, and then the day of the floods it obviously exceeded expectations. It just sort of took everyone by surprise a little bit. Just the speed at, at, at how, it, how it rose, it just, um, a lot of people didn't have time to get out. When we kind of couldn't see the fence anymore, we thought um, it was a good time to call SES and try and evacuate. As we were on the boat, we kind of looked around and just saw water everywhere and the top of houses. And we didn't know what to expect at that point. Probably 80% of the town would have some sort of flood damage. You've seen a lot of structural damage, a lot of businesses damaged, people's homes and livelihoods just destroyed. Everyone's just out front crying and really distraught and yeah, it was just a, it was a bit of a scary time, it was a bit of a shock. We are mainly just trying to get everything out of the house, clean up as much as we can because the smell was quite overwhelming. So the support from Johnsling ERV was amazing. Quite confronting walking out of your house every morning and seeing your belongings out on the curb, it's not a nice feeling. To then also have to clean it up wouldn't be ideal. But having John Ling come in and setting up a hub like this creates somewhere for these people to go in the community. The assessing to the asbestos clean up, to furniture removal, to whitewoods removal, to plaster removal, everything we can organise for all of that. We've had three to four crews going for two weeks now, get their rubbish out, get their carpet out, get the assessors in there. John's Ling ERV was incredible. They were here almost like immediately. We all came out and had a whole bunch of questions for them and they were really like open and transparent and honest with us about what they were doing and like expectations as well. When everyone started cleaning their house, a lot of people were displaced from their home. And that's when the ERV and John's Ling temporary accommodation site in Elmore started up. It's supporting the people in Rochester especially because that town was devastated with 1,500 homes um, that went flooded and they have nowhere to live. Currently we have 30 caravans operational. A total of 130 caravans will be here on site with another 30 two-bedroom units. Relief accommodation for 350 people. Johnsling and ERV have just been uh, very supportive from the moment they got here to all the residents with anything they need, helping everyone get back to some sort of normality. I'm glad that they were in charge of the cleanup because while you're watching your possessions get taken away, it's really nice to have that like confidence, support and just caring people doing the job. We will get there and we won't stop until it's finished. <laughs>